Einstein gave the same example. He said, when you sit together with a young, beautiful woman, two hours appear to you as if it is just a minute. But when you sit on a hot oven for just two minutes, it appears to you for as it would be an hour. That's relativity. And that's relativity very short set. Hello to this topic, time. What is time for you? Let me know down below in the comments. In my opinion, time is not just what clock says. And I also like to bring little evidence from ancient Greek, which is our cultural basis from which our Christianity and everything else transformed, developed. Time is not just what clock says. Consider, clocks are just an invention of people, of human mind. People started to think we must measure the time. Because we live here in this dimension and this is the only dimension which has time and in which things die and break and have an end. But after this invention, now we have a clock, we have our watches, whatever. So the mind solved the problem and now has a clock. And even in ancient time, they had clocks. They built sun clocks, like you took a stick and put it in the ground. And when the sun comes and goes around, and they used the shadow of the stick to create kind of a clock. This was the first clock. But as you can imagine, it didn't take a long time that the mind after this invention becomes unhappy again. And again and again and still today, to have the time on the clock and to catch the time and to talk about time doesn't bring more happiness or bring a better life to people. In most cases, it's the opposite. But let me first tell the advantage of time. The advantage is that we can meet, that we, for example, okay, YouTube is an exception. You can switch me on and off whenever you want. But normally when we would meet in reality, when we would meet personally, when you meet friends, you need the clock, you need the time to have appointments, to meet people in the same place at the same time. And that's the only advantage of the clocks. But there are enough disadvantages. The other side of the coin. The clock is there and people are bored. And people are watching at the clock and looking at how it goes and goes. And it doesn't make them more happy just because of looking at the clock and feeling fine to have a new clock or so. But then nothing happens. So it's pretty boring. And boredom is just one aspect. There are other aspects too. The opposite side of boredom, when someone has too many appointments, when someone has one appointment and the next in a row and the next and the next, and all day is just appointments and a full agenda. In this case, time pressure is present. And with the time pressure, people also feel unhappy. Okay, at first, not. When I remember when I was very, very young, and I love to have my first clock and I love to have appointments and watch on the clock and go there and do the next appointment. And so, but one day when it comes to burnout or to other psychological diseases, which appear because of the stress when you are too involved in having appointments, then you will say, that's pressure. That's not good. That's unhealthy to run from one appointment to the next to just live in the time. And therefore, I like to defer two kinds of time, which ancient Greece already knew. In ancient Greek, they had two words for time. And therefore, I like it. And I also talked about that ancient Greek has three words for love and discussed love in this census. You can find it in the video in the upper left corner. Ancient Greek named time Kronos and Kairos. Kronos is the time we know from the clock. You know, Kronos is similar word to chronicle. When you, for example, say you bring something in a chronicle order. But in English, you know, it is often very similar to ancient Greek or to Latin. And so 
now we have the lack and we find a word which is similar. Chronos means the time which is measurable, which we measure with clocks and watches, which we love to measure and love to watch and love to say, oh, now it's one hour later and I haven't done anything <laughs> and I was bored or whatever. This is Chronos. This is the quantitative aspect of time. But there's also a qualitative aspect of time. This is Kairos. Maybe the city Cairo in Egypt has the name from it. I don't know. But this is qualitative time. Or some also say it's psychological time. Because it is a time which you feel. It is not just that's a time where you can say it is measurable through a clock. No, this is psychological time because it's relative. It's subjective. It depends on the person who recognizes the time. It could also be negative. In the context of relativity, Einstein gave the same example. He said, when you sit together with a young, beautiful woman, two hours appear to you as if it is just a minute. But when you sit on a hot oven for just two minutes, it appears to you for as it would be an hour. That's relativity. And that's relativity very short set and very reduced to the main core. Relativity is not just to use in physics and to think about it and calculate. Relativity is also in your everyday life. Everything is relative as long as you are this human being, as long as you have this human experience in your body, as long as you are not in your higher self and not in this meditative status to come in a more objective view to see things, as long as you're entangled in the ego, in the body, you are, and that's the normal thing. It's not, I have the same problem. It's not that I want to say just you also, <laughs> but I need, I don't name any person. It is just to say, as long as one is entangled in the human being, that I am this personality and whatever I talked about in the other videos enough. Your awareness is just based on your personal experience, on your subjectivity, on your relativity. It is just your view. That's all. What Einstein wanted to say. It's relative. And for one, one situation seems longer or shorter, and it's more or less out of time. But there is even a higher aspect of relativity when you consider to be in the here and now, when you really have positive qualitative time, kairos. When you are in the here and now, when you are in your higher self, you forget about time. When you are more and more in the higher self, you will see you do things more spontaneous. You love to have appointments which are not so directly on one moment. When, for example, I have the choice between two hairstylists and the first hairstylist just makes appointments and the other hairstylist is open and you can go there where, whenever you want and when you feel you have time and feels right now, I prefer the second one where you can go spontaneously. People which suffered from burnout and depression and so also feel that spontaneous decisions feel more right, feel more real, feel more essential. And the appointments more and more feel to have pressure, to have stress. Appointments cause stress. To be on a special place at a special time is stress because it has, has all been planned. You must consider your do you take public transport? Do you take the car? Will you find a parking lot at the right time? And, you know, you have to consider all this stuff. And then you go to this appointment and you must plan so much just for this appointment, just before the appointment happens. 
in the spontaneous case, it's different. You can just go there, not considering. You can drive and during driving, not looking on the watch so often and concentrate on the traffic or whatever comes. You can just be in the moment. You can take public transport. I prefer public transport most because you can then sit in a bus or in a train or whatever and you can just try to stay in the moment. You can meditate. You can meditate in different ways because a driver takes the work. A driver does it for you and you just sit there and can relax and can try to meditate and therefore I would also recommend it so to drive to the appointment should be spontaneous should be relaxing so therefore public transport is a good choice but you can also relax in cars and um, more or less it depends on the time when you are uh, driving so avoiding the rush hours is a good idea if you can and if you are not too entangled in everyday life, in a nine to five job or so, take a five to nine job. And when you go there, you can see all people which drive in the other direction. The streets are full, but your direction is free, for example. But you have enough opportunities. You manage your life as you want. Consider chronos and kairos. Consider quantitative time, qualitative time. Consider to have appointments or to be spontaneous. Consider to have a stressful life or to have a relaxed life. I hope you could take something for you from this video. I hope you got some aspects to increase your life quality just based on a few insights. Have a nice time. See you next time. Bye.